Uh, it's going to be a scorcher around the entire Bay Area. We could actually break some records. Now, I do want to talk about some of your forecasted highs and then how much warmer it is compared to the average. So downtown San Francisco came in at 84 degrees this afternoon, and that's about 20 degrees warmer than where we should be. So generally, we're lucky if we're in the mid-60s for this time of year. Oakland could break a record at 89 degrees. That's 22 degrees warmer than average. About 19 degrees warmer in San Jose and Concord and Livermore hitting 93 degrees and that's 20 <laughs> degrees warmer than what we're used to. So it is a cooler starts in the morning. It's pretty mild out there. Temperatures around seasonal right now. That's thanks to the winds dying down. We're no longer tracking those offshore winds. So downtown San Francisco pretty mild at 58 degrees, but check out Novato 43 there 44 out in Vallejo 55 waking up in Pleasanton. Futurecast 4 however shows the numbers are going to soar into the afternoon. By lunchtime you're out and about and it looks like temperatures are already mainly in the 80s. 90s will start to fill in by 3 p.m. your afternoon highs and this is when we could actually break some records and it looks like still pretty warm conditions all the 70s on the board by 8 p.m. tonight. Focusing on your afternoon highs, Santa Clara 93 <coughs> degrees 98 your high in Cupertino could see plenty of 90s in the East Bay as well 94 Pittsburgh 95 degrees Pleasanton 94 for Walnut Creek uh, again it's going to be a warm one down our East Bay shoreline we're tracking temperatures in the upper 80s, 92 degrees your high in Napa and 77 in Daly City. Now the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory encompassing most of the Bay Area. Now the coastline no longer affected and they took Monterey off of it as well. Between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. it's going to be a scorcher. So if you're used to being out and about perhaps exercising, doing uh, do it really early or really late tonight. Coastal highs in the upper 70s inland spots again flirting with the triple digits. Now your seven day around the bay forecast shows tomorrow could still be a warm one inland, but thanks to the sea breeze, it looks like it'll cool temperatures down along the bay and the coast. Morning fog returns as we head into the weekend and it looks like possibly some showers as we start the next work week. As of right now, that's a 10% <coughs> chance. So we will continue to monitor those updates. 518 on the clock on to traffic now with George.